Brooks Grand National season has just two races to go. And since midseason, David Green has been the point leader. But Green's mirror is full of fast, closing Ricky Craven just 56 points behind. not a two-horse race. Coming fast in third, Chad Little is just 20 points behind Craven. There are just two races left in the Bush Grand National Series. You'll see them both live on TNN starting now. And Motorsports proudly presents live exclusive coverage of the Advanced Auto Parts 500 from Martinsville, Virginia. The nation's most beautiful short track is also one of its most treacherous, shaped like a paperclip with drag strip straightaways and tight U-turns. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mike Joy, and it's a beautiful day for racing here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, <laughs> and a great place to see a race, and what a battle we've got for you. David Green, the point leader, starts on the pole, and his two closest pursuers are both mired deep in the field, and there's no tougher field to get through than one that lines up on this narrow racetrack here at Martinsville. Earlier today, Buddy Baker and Glenn Jarrett had a chance to talk to the men battling for the Bush Series Championship. Let's meet them now. Here's Buddy Baker. Thanks, Mike. Last week, David Green had all kind of trouble at Charlotte. How did he respond to the pressure? He promptly come to Martinsville and put his car on the pole. What are your strategies today, David? Well, buddy, it's got to be the same thing the Slim Jim Crew's done all year long is stay consistent, be smooth, and be around at the end. So this is no different race than any other race. Uh, I'm real proud of my guys, the Slim Jim Crew, that uh, responded after the, the bad deal at Charlotte. But here we are at Martinsville in front, and hope we can stay up there. Well, you got somebody you want to say hello back home to. Yeah, my father had a mild uh, heart attack the other night and wish him well. And just wanted to tell him, tell him that Jeff and myself are here at Martinsville and, uh, and thanking a lot about him, and hopefully we can win this race for him today. Well, everybody at TNN wants you to get well fast, David. Well, buddy, the other two title contenders are not quite as fortunate as David Green. They're starting 22nd and 26th, respectively, in the field. Now, this is not the place to have to come through traffic. Let's talk to Ricky Craven first. Ricky, that makes for an even tougher day having to fight all that traffic. Sure does, but the, the DuPont Refinish Chevrolet is running good. I mean, it's we made a 53-lap run a week or so ago when we tested, and uh, the 53rd lap was within a tenth or two of the first lap, and that's the way it was for us yesterday. car doesn't like to put heat in the left side tires, so it wasn't real quick qualifying, but uh, they don't give any points for the poles, and we didn't lose any for qualifying 20 seconds, so we're still in good shape. Well, he's going to try to gain those points as the race go by. Now... Chad Little is in third place. He's been considered a long shot. He hasn't won a race so far yet this year, but you're looking for a win as well as that points title. But, man, that's a long way to come through traffic. It is a long way. You know, I wish we would have started more towards the front. We, um, we just didn't have a good qualifying run, but the Harris Teeter Ford's running well, and it's, uh, we practice great. It's just um, I hate starting back this far, and it's just uh, you got to have some luck on your side, let's face it. We need, we need to catch a couple cautions at the right time, and uh, you still have to be optimistic, but you know, I'd love to be starting more forward. Just uh, gives the fans a good race, though, because uh, you can watch us come through traffic. And Ricky's one row in front of me, and um, hopefully I'll just be able to follow him up through there, and we'll get up there and race with David and just to see what happens. Well, I want to wish both of you guys the best of luck today. They both have to be extremely careful coming through traffic here at Martinsville. We'll be back with the start of the Advance Auto Parts 500 right after this. Of the Advance Auto Parts 500 on TNN is brought to you by Stanley. Since 1843, Stanley has been helping people do things right. By Purolator. Legends live on Purolator. And by Slipfire, the patented performance spark plug. It only costs more till you use it. Welcome back to Martinsville. Buddy and I are delighted to welcome David Pearson to the TNN booth in his broadcast debut, winner of 105 Winston Cup races. 
Who has a tougher job today, David Green leading the points or Ricky Craven and Chad Little trying to chase him down? Tell you the truth, uh, Mike, I think I have the toughest job. <laughs> but I had rather be in David Green's place than uh, Chad Little and uh, Ricky Craven because they are behind. And, of course, Ricky Craven, all he's got to do is just make sure he don't make any mistakes and just kind of take it easy. The other guys are behind and they're trying to catch up. So anytime you're trying to make up 56 points, it's rough to do. Are you apt to take more chances? I think it, uh, if you're behind naturally, you're going to have to take more chances. Of course, David, can, uh, David Green can just sit there and just look over his shoulder and take it easy. Thank you, David. Let's have a look at the diehard starting grid for today's race. Eighth pole of the season for David Green. Randy LaJoy on the front row for the second time this year. In row number two, Dick Trickle is filling in for injured Rodney Cole. And outside is Mike Wallace, three-time Bush Series winner. Hermie Sadler, winner at Rougemont this year, shares the third row with Jim Bound. Seventh time he started in the top ten. Jason Keller, three-time pole sitter and near winner at Silver. And Bobby Dotter has his fourth top ten start. Johnny Rumley ran eighth here in the spring. Larry Pearson has four second-place finishes at Martinsville. Robert Presley looking for his first win since August of 93, and Kenny Wallace, a winner at Bristol and Richmond. Tom Peck makes his second start since April. Johnny Benson, Jr., winner at Dover last month. Dave Rosetti, Terry Labonte, now Doug Hebron, and Michael Rich. Elton Sawyer and Tim Fidua are in row number 10. Mike McLaughlin and Ricky Craven. Then it's Dennis Setzer, rookie leader, and David Blankenship making his Bush debut. David Hyder, a first-time Bush Series starter, and number three-point man, Chad Little. Andy Petrie and Jay Fogelman have the 14th row, then it's Phil Parsons and Chris Diamond. Tommy Houston and Kevin LaFage from Vermont in round number 16. Johnny Chapman makes his Bush debut. Tracy Leslie shares the 17th row. Stevie Reeves and Roy Payne are the provisional starters. He'll be right along with Elton Sawyer in the Ford Credit Ford Thunderbird. He'll be carrying a couple of our TNN in-car cameras today. And Chad Little, the number three point man. There is the 360-degree uh, pan and tilt in-car camera in the Harris Teeter Ford. There's looking out from underneath the rear bumper on Chad Little's car. And the uh, doggy leading out the window cam is right there on the left side as you look over to the inside of that row. Clay Brown, Jeff Green, Franklin Butler, Eddie Johnson, Earl Davis, Ashton Lewis, and Mark Whitaker were the drivers who tried to make the field here at Martinsville and did not qualify. Two races left in the Bush Grand National Circuit. They used to decide the championship here at Martinsville. For the last two years, Hickory Motor Speedway has been the curtain closer, and this year, at Rougemont, North Carolina, we'll have the last Bush race of 1994. That's coming up here live on TNN next Saturday. Getting ready for the wave of the green flag as Randy LaJoy and David Green are right close together. That's what we'll see all day long as we get the green. And they bang a bit going into turn one. LaJoy really wants the lead, and he's going to get it. Mike Wallace up the outside going to challenge for second spot. Dick Trickle in the 43 car in fourth. One car very slow in the back straightaway, David Hyder. He'll complete lap one. The joy out front, and Mike Wallace settles into the second spot. And Dick Trickle in fourth behind David Green, and Jim Bound moving up. So quickly single file among the top three, and then it gets busy. There's Dick Trickle and Jim Bound side by side. Hermie Sadler looking on. Jim Bound completes the pass, moves up into the fourth spot. Trickle settles in in fifth. Sadler sixth. Daughter seventh. Jason Keller eighth. zero there of Johnny Rumley picking up the Taco Bell sponsorship. A little close there with Bobby Dodder. 
and Keller who changed an engine this morning in the 57 car. Quick drop behind the wall for David Hyder out of Greensboro in the Gene Petty car making his push debut. Kenny Wallace, Larry Pearson, who's nursing sore ribs in Charlotte, and Johnny Benson. Back there as well at 74, one of the top rookies. Mike, uh, Kenny Wallace said the longer he runs, the better that car gets. He's having a lot of problems right now just getting the car to hook up because it's set up to run better later in the race. A number of drivers here looking for long runs. Ricky Craven is one of those. Back up to second place where Mike Wallace holds off David Green. That's the way it's been since they dropped the flag. You see Mike Wallace there. He's really had great runs this year. He's had a few races where he missed the show, but if he makes the show, that car is always in contention to win. David Green's just sitting there biding his time, running along, doing the best he can, not to get in trouble. If he starts running too hard right now, he can abuse the brakes to hurt his results near the end of the race. But I feel like it, uh, David Green is really running a little bit harder than he should. At least if I was leading 56 points ahead of the on point, I don't believe I'd be running quite that hard right now. Well, I talked to him a little bit earlier before the race started today, and he says it depends on who's around him. He trusts Mike Wallace quite a bit, so he's going to do everything he can to stay out of harm's way. And right now, the easiest way to run is up front. Good battle here. As Mike McLaughlin of the Fiddle Paddle 34 battles with Chad Little, you're watching from Chad Little's car as he completes that pass and accelerates off the corner. Mike, there's one thing about McLaughlin. He loves this kind of racetrack. And you see right there, Dennis Setzer, that, that's a car that can win anywhere he goes. So uh, they're all working their way right now towards the front. Ten laps in. Randy LaJoy leading Mike Wallace, David Green, Jim Bound in fourth, and Dick Trickle in fifth. Mike has got the black flag out for Robert Presley. He's smoking a little bit. That's too bad because he's running quite well. This early in the race to knock himself a couple of laps back really hurt. Well, David Green said earlier what he wanted to do is find a comfortable spot and run the car uh, so it would be comfortable, but the way he's chasing after Mike Wallace, he's not taking it easy. Well, the reason he's running that hard, if you'll look right in front of these guys, that's Randy LaJoy going off the corner there. He has a 15, 20 car left seat, and I feel like maybe Mike Wallace's car is actually holding Green back. He's very fast here. He qualified at 91 miles an hour here, and that is really quick around this racetrack, so he's got a lot more car than he's using right now. said earlier he wanted to find a place to run and kind of run and settle down as he trails Mike Wallace they are second and third they have a little break on the field we asked David Green what it would mean if he could tie down this Bush Grand National Championship well every, every time I think about being in position here to win or even last year you know I get real excited because David Green really doesn't have a, have a big resume so to speak uh, track championships here there yonder but uh it'll be a major accomplishment for me as a driver but i think deep down number one it's going to mean a lot to my car owner because he was the one that gave me a break when i didn't have a ride in 92 and slim jim to put david green in the car and, and david green it was nobody compared to labani or whoever but that's what's going to be the most satisfying is to win bobby labani his first car owner's championship 